in this question, we have a 938 gram sample of a mixture that contains rubidium phosphide, RB3P, and calcium manganate, CAMNO4-2. It's found to contain 57.9 grams of phosphorus. Our goal is to figure out the percent composition by mass of the mixture of each compound. So first we're gonna to need to use the information provided to figure out how many moles of each compound we have. So firstly, how many moles of phosphorus and therefore how many moles of rubidium phosphide. So we're gonna to head to our periodic table and find phosphorus. Here's phosphorus. Phosphorus has a relative atomic mass of 30.97. So phosphorus has a relative atomic mass of 30.97 grams per mole. What that tells us is that 30.97 grams of phosphorus is equal to one mole of phosphorus. So we're going to use this as our conversion factor. So we know we have... 57.9 grams of phosphorus and in our conversion table we're going to have grams on the bottom so they cancel out and moles on the top we know that one mole of phosphorus is equal to 30.97 grams so the grams are going to cancel we'll multiply everything on the top and divide by the bottom so that gives us 57.9 times one mole divided by 30.97 that gives us 1.87 moles of phosphorus. So we got 1.87 moles of phosphorus in the sample based on the grams of phosphorus in the sample. Next, we wanna use that to figure out how many moles of rubidium phosphide are in the sample. So we know we have 1.87 moles of phosphorus and in rubidium phosphide, we have one mole of phosphorus. We've got one P. So for every one mole of phosphorus, we must have one mole of rubidium phosphide. So this is going to be the same here. If, on the other hand, we knew how much rubidium we had and we needed to figure out how much rubidium phosphide we have, since there's three rubidiums in here, we'd need to divide the number of moles by three in order to figure out how much rubidium phosphide we have, since there's three rubidiums in that compound. Okay, next we're going to use this to figure out the mass of each compound in the mixture. So now we know how many moles of rubidium phosphide we have, we can convert that into the mass of rubidium phosphide by figuring out the molar mass of rubidium phosphide. We already know the atomic mass of phosphorus. Now let's find rubidium. Here it is. Rubidium has a relative atomic mass of 85.47. We've got rubidium with 85.47 grams per mole. So in our compound of rubidium phosphide, we have three rubidiums plus one phosphorus. So that's three times rubidium is 85.47 plus one times phosphorus, which is 30.97. That gets us a molar mass of 287.38 grams per mole. And remember, what that tells us is that there are 287.38 grams of rubidium phosphide, RB3P, in one mole of RB3P. So that's now going to be our conversion factor that we're going to use when we're converting. So we have 1.87 moles of rubidium phosphide and we're going to convert that with moles on the bottom so they'll cancel out and grams on the top. We have one mole is equal to 287.38 grams. So we'll multiply everything on the top, divide by everything on the bottom, and cancel units that are the same top and bottom. So cancelling moles, 
that leaves us with 1.87 multiplied by 287.38 grams divided by 1, which gives us 537 grams of rubidium phosphide in our mixture. So we can fill that out here. We had 537 grams of rubidium phosphide. Now we know the total mass of the sample was 938 grams. So if the total mass of the sample was 938 grams and the mass of rubidium phosphide was 537, we can find the mass of the other compound by subtracting from the total the mass of the other compound which gets us a mass of 401 grams. Awesome, so we now know the mass of each of our compound in our mixture. Finally, to get the percent composition, all we need to do is find the percent of that. So here's our formula for percent composition by mass. Percent composition of X is the mass of X divided by the mass of the compound times 100. So the percent of x is equal to the mass of x divided by the mass of the compound times 100%. So let's go ahead and do that for rubidium phosphide. So the percent of rubidium phosphide is the mass of rubidium phosphide in the mixture, which is 537 grams divided by the total mass of the compound, which was 938 grams. Here it's not a compound, it's a mixture. So let's actually change that there to say this is the mass of our mixture. And we'll multiply that by 100% to get 57.3% rubidium phosphide. So let's fill that in here. And now for the other compound, we can either go ahead and do the same thing. We can divide its mass by the mass of the compound and times by 100%. Or we can use a trick, which is that these two percents will add up to give 100. And that way, we can just go ahead and calculate this by doing 100 minus 57.3, which gets 42.7. So that's a little bit of a shortcut. If you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and use the mass 401 grams in here instead of 537 and use that to figure it out.